Good afternoon. You know, uh, we have a very solemn responsibility that uh, right after lunch, this panel is happening. So I'm sure with the help of my very uh, distinguished panelists, we'll be able to keep you awake. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad that, you know, I'm getting an opportunity to be here today uh, because, you know, when I look back, I've spent about 30 plus years in the industry, beginning with automotive electronics in General Motors group companies and then later on, uh, many years with Synopsys, which is a design automation software company. And now I'm uh, advising a startup which is into, uh, you know, virtualizing the whole EMI, EMC uh, uh, testing uh, protocol. But as I look about it, you know, I think, you know, there, there, there is a certain amount of inevitability that I would be here today because my very first job, fresh out of a PhD in, uh, in uh, Kokomo, Indiana, was in terms of designing General Motors' first electric vehicle. That was 1989, believe it or not. They had an EV program. It's called EV1. Well, I mean, lead acid batteries, 90 miles uh, range, it probably didn't go anywhere. That's a perfect example of you know, a product which actually came much before the market was ready. But um, this panel is all about mobility, and I think it's a, it's a very important one. Let me just you know, throw one concept to you. You all have heard about the global warming, the 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2030. Where is 2030? That's seven years from today. Now the universe is about 13 and a half billion years old. So from a universe scale, this seven years is almost like 14 seconds. Just imagine if you have to meet that 1.5 degrees C target in the next 14 seconds. Even the net zero, which is only about 20, 2050, that's 27 years, that's like a minute in the, universe, uh, in the human time scale. So we, we have a big challenge in front of us. And, and mobility is something that you know, we are all uh, very passionate about because just in the uh, morning session, someone mentioned, it connects individual freedom with the entire global supply chain. And there are many, uh, many, many angles inside. Uh, you know, one third of the, of the emission problems uh, in this world come from this transportation sector. 75% of that is because of the vehicles that are on the road. And I know there is a global effort with about 700 odd cities that even if they were to reduce their emissions by half, we'll still find it very difficult to meet this uh, 2030 target. But I'm sure uh, the work that's going on in some of these companies, the, the panelists here are, are representing, uh, we will be touching on um, you know, the, the challenges of mobility, like I said, is the climate, aging infrastructure, rapid population growth, uh, urbanization, decarbonization, etc. Uh, 